everyone, my name is Carmen and welcome to a new slime review video. Today, I'll be giving a 100% honest famous versus underrated slime shop review. The two slime shops I'll be reviewing today are Lime Slimes Co. and Slime OG. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy my slime reviews and slime ASMR. Don't forget to check out my Instagram for some more slime content. Anyways, let's go ahead and start off this review with the underrated slime shop. I purchased two slimes from Lime Slimes Company and they were nice enough to send me four extra slimes so thank you so much for that. The two slimes that I purchased from them were Steely Ball Trick and Barely Awake which totaled to around $40 including shipping. They also included some candy and a handwritten note. I'll be starting off with the cutest DIY clay slime ever. This is called Barely Awake and fun fact, I helped name this slime. It comes with the most adorable and detailed sleeping bear clay sculpture. It is also a pretty big clay piece so you're getting a lot of slime out of this. It comes with a baby blue thick slay slime that has a bit of snow in it. It is a super thick chewy slime that makes a really nice bubble pops and is scented just like described. A sweet cotton candy and a hint of citrus. The texture on the clay bear makes it look super furry and fluffy and I just love how it's just napping there. It also comes with a baggie of sprinkles. There are berry color star sprinkles and some glitter. Squeezing and mixing in the bear clay was both sad and satisfying, but you know, I had to do it just so that we can have our final texture. After mixing it up, it turns into a pretty clay heavy slime. It is a pretty dense clay slime that is almost doughy, so I recommend it if you're looking for a thicker type of clay slime. The slime turns into a lighter brown and it is a pretty holdable slime that does inflate to make nice sizzles and crackles. The second slime that I purchased from them is called Sealy Ball Trick and this is a DIY clay fizz slime that has a beach ball design on top. It comes decorated with some iridescent glitter and with a really cute seal charm. The bottom part is a sandy colored snow fizz slime that is super creamy and semi wet but it actually mixes into the creamiest snow fizz slime ever. It is scented a blend of white peach hibiscus, lemon tea, and sea breeze, but to me, I just really smell the lemon iced tea, which is still a really refreshing scent, and it fits so well with the summer theme of the slime. Final texture is a super stretchy, creamy, and crunchy snow fizz slime that inflates a ton. It becomes really fluffy and sizzly. I definitely recommend this one.
Next up, we have Red Gummy Gloss. This was an extra slime that they sent, and I believe it's one of their iconic thick and glossy slimes. It is super thick and glossy and has the most vibrant red color that does slightly stain your hands, but the scent just smells amazing and spot on like a red Starburst. A super great slime, especially if you like candy scents and bubble pops. Next we have another extra slime and this is a DIY clay slime called Dull Nut Whip Float Sunday. The base is similar to Barely Awake except that it's softer and less dense. A really amazing DIY clay slime that comes with a cherry charm, a donut clay piece, an ice cream scoop, and even a yellow syrup. It's scented just like pineapple dough whip with a hint of sweet cream and I really like the scent since it isn't too sweet. This slime is super fun to mix and assemble, and once fully mixed, it turns into a super creamy and sizzly snow butter slime. This slime inflates a ton, and compared to Barely Awake, I prefer this one since it is less dense, which is easier to inflate. The next extra slime that they included is called Toasted Cookie Milk V2 and this is another thick and glossy slime. It does feel slightly thicker than Red Gummy Gloss, either that or it's more activated. It is also another vibrantly colored slime, so it is a beautiful brown and it also comes with these black glitters and black clay crumbs. 
This slime is very thick and glossy while still being very holdable and stretchy and this has a pretty strong scent that smells just like caramel coffee cookie dough. Our last slime from Lime Slimes Co. is called a whipped cheese foam and this is my favorite texture out of the package. The initial texture is very thick, tight, and chewy so it makes nice bubble pops but after you play with it more, stretch it up, and inflate it, it becomes really soft and creamy. The more you play with the slime, the easier it becomes to stretch and the easier it becomes to inflate. It becomes so so fluffy and the inflated texture is just so sizzly and foamy and I definitely recommend this one if you like inflating your clay slimes. It has a really unique scent and I haven't smelled anything like it before. To me it smells like cheese foam mixed with a floral tea. Next, we have a slime package from our famous slime shop, Slime OG, with over a million followers on Instagram. I am a longtime customer of their shop and always enjoy them, so I'm excited to show you some of their new slimes. They also included borax, their business card, a sticker, and also their sticker sheet. The three slimes that I purchased from OG Slimes are Sticky Rice and Mango, Pink Sand Beach, and Mermaid Waffle. The whole package totaled to around $50, including shipping. Our first slime is called Mermaid Waffle and this is a DIY clay slime that comes with this minty blue thick white glue base. I already enjoy this thick slime. It is super glossy, stretchy, and thick and usually OG slimes, their slimes are always on the thicker side. It also comes with a super realistic looking waffle clay piece. It has the most gorgeous color. There are blues, pinks, and purples, and even blue and purple sprinkles and glitters. As you can tell, this clay piece is ultra soft. I love how it crumbles in your hands. 
It feels just like Daiso clay, but I know it's the newer recipe since the old recipe will melt your slime, but the newer Daiso clay recipe will slightly stiffen up your slime. Since the clay is so soft, it's easy to mix in, but once you start blending it in with the slime, it starts to stiffen up slightly. Once you mix it up, it turns into a really thick, dense, and doughy clay slime. It is a little hard to stretch. Personally, I prefer my clay slimes to be softer and really easy to stretch. That way I can inflate it. So I did soften up with some glycerin. So make sure to keep that in mind if you're looking for a softer type of clay slime. You might have to soften it up with some glycerin or lotion. Since the texture is so thick, there is some minor sprinkle fallout. The scent for this is exactly as described. It smells mostly like a cinnamon French toast with a hint of pressing crunch cinnamon. Once I softened it up, I did enjoy the texture a lot more. It was easier to stretch and it inflates to make nice crackles. Next is another DIY clay slime. This is called Sticky Rice and Mango. It comes with a thick white glue base slushy slime that represents the sticky rice and also clay mango pieces. This slushy slime was pretty packed with those flat disc slushy beads. It is very crunchy, makes a nice bubble pops, but it does slightly rip once in a while since there isn't a lot of base, but that problem is solved with the DIY clay pieces and the jelly slime. These are what the clay pieces look like. They are cubed mango pieces. It also comes with sesame seeds, mango female slices, and an ounce of a jelly slime. Sticky rice and mango is a somewhat common slime idea, and I love how they made it unique by using cubed clay pieces. It is really fun to assemble, and it just makes me crave some mangoes. The clay cubes were very soft and really easy to mix in, and once fully mixed in, it didn't stiffen the slime at all. It became a super stretchy and creamy slushy slime. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of butter slushies, but this has less clay than the usual, so it turned into a slay slushy. The final texture still makes really nice bubble pops, is really crunchy, super creamy, stretchy, and inflatable. Overall, a texture I really enjoy playing with. The scent is exactly as described and smells just like sweet coconut milk. Lastly, we have Pink Sand Beach, and it comes with this pink white blue based snow fizz slime, a thick blue clear water slime, a little hula man charm, and a paper palm tree umbrella.
first of all, this Snow Fizz is amazing. It's super stretchy and creamy, very crunchy and sizzly, and is semi-wet, which I believe helps with the creaminess. The blue water slime arrives separate, and I just love the font of this and the little water droplet on it. It also comes with these fish female slices. This is a great slime. If you love assembling them yourself, you can even open up the palm tree. And once fully assembled, it looks so cute, just like a pink sand beach. The stick on my palm tree did snap in half during shipping, but it still works. This slime is super satisfying to mix. It makes nice crunchy ASMR, and you can see the blue and pink mixed together. Since I already enjoyed the Snow Fizz base, this slime is just as gray. It just has less snow in it, and it makes more crackly bubble pops. The scent smells exactly as described, which is a watermelon sorbet, which does remind me of watermelon candy. That is all for this review video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!